Hello everyone. I want to show you how to sew together the ring sections of block number eight. Now you already know that these sides are not one straight line. There's three different lines. The first thing you're going to do is on these inner curves you're going to tear the paper toward that circled point. Both of them on, on this side. Then you're going to take a matching section, turn these right sides together, and you'll use a positioning pin here through to the opposite side, and then you'll use a positioning pin at the far point. Now I've already got that done right here. The next thing you would do, and I've taken out my positioning pin already and I'm ready to sew, so I would sew this to the circled point, removing the pin when I need to, and backstitch. Then I would take that out of the machine, and I have one already ready. Now what you're going to do here is take this and carefully bend. Now you probably didn't see that because I was off camera. You want to put your finger in here and just sort of pop it up while you're bringing this end into position. Use a positioning pin to mark this point and that point and put in a pin. I'm making sure that's straight. You're going to put a pin in right there. And then as you work down here, now I'm reaching in and sort of flattening that so that I can also fold that down. And you can even crease it a little bit, just like that. I don't have much success trying to put a, a positioning pin here. Um, because you're at the end of the seam, it should be just fine. It almost always is perfectly fine for me. If I'm ever off by a thread or two, you know, I don't sweat the small stuff. So, I would begin sewing here. I'd go forward a couple of stitches, back stitch, and then sew to this point and back stitch, removing pins as I go. Once you get that sewn, then you, you do the same thing down here, although it's just the tiniest little, tiniest little bend. So I'm reaching in and letting that lift up just a little bit. And then I would use a positioning pin here and make sure I get it on the back, which I did not, right? So that's why you use the positioning pins. Like that. Hold that straight up and down. Don't let that move because you know it's correct. Get your pin in there. And then let this crease up, and it's not going to crease up as much as the other one, but it'll crease up a little bit. Keep your positioning pin in, and that. My holding pin is just a little wrong, so work with it. Let that be flat. This is going to be a really subtle change of direction. I might pin it from this direction this time. And then I would sew from this spot forward, you know, I do my little back stitch forward and off the page. Once you get that sewn, you'll take the um, paper out of the seam allowances on both sides and press the, press the seams in the direction of the arrows. You put two sections together, then you put two of these sections together to make four, you put two fours together to make eight. You put then the two halves of the block together. So enjoy this. It's really easier than you think it's going to be. All right. Enjoy your sewing.